Here are 10 footballers who went from being rejects to being absolute superstars. And honestly, who else would you think most appropriate to start this list with, if not Marcus Rashford? Rashford is an absolute banger right now, but who would ever think that this boy was once in the Man City ranks, but they let him go. Yes, before he joined Man United as a youngster, Rashford spent some time training with Man City at the age of seven, but they weren't interested in taking things further with the attacker because they thought he was too small. The Red Devils immediately snapped him up and they're surely super happy with their acquisition now, especially considering that Rashford has been a thorn in the flesh of the noisy neighbors a couple of times. Now, United might be happy with their acquisition of Rashford, but they're probably regretting their decision of rejecting Martinelli. Back when he was still a teenager playing in Brazil, Martinelli really wanted to join Manchester United. He went on trials with the Red Devils between 2015 and 2017, but he was rejected four times. Yes, four times. Arsenal eventually picked him up in 2019, and you can see them enjoying every bit of their investment. Another club probably regretting their decision on Martinelli is Barcelona. Martinelli also went on trial at Barcelona, but they rejected him as well. Now that they're struggling with talents on the left wing, they're probably wishing they never rejected the teenager back then. But at least, Barcelona can look to their golden boy in midfield, Pedri, and be glad that they were able to snatch him from their fiercest rivals, Real Madrid. Pedri went for trials at Real Madrid as a teenager, and they told him that he simply wasn't good enough. Well, safe to say that they got that one absolutely wrong because there's nobody who has watched Pedri play football and would dare say that he's not good enough. The boy is an absolute star. But Real Madrid are a huge club. They'll be fine. But come and take a look at these guys who will surely be kicking themselves forever. Croatian club HNK Hajduk Split rejected, you won't believe this, Luka Modric. Mario Gurovic himself told the story that the scouts from Hajduk decided to go for him instead of Modric because they thought he was a better talent and that Modric was too weak to make it at the top level of football. Oh well, we've got nothing more to say about this. We can only imagine how those scouts who said Luka Modric couldn't make it at top football feel when they see him winning Champions League after Champions League, the Ballon d'Or, oh, and also even leading his country to a World Cup final. Speaking of the World Cup final, the star of the last one was easily hat-trick hero Kylian Mbappe, and believe it or not, he too was rejected. The culprits? Chelsea. We give the Blues hell for Salah and De Bruyne, but they did hit another major banger with Mbappe. Mbappe was really interested in joining Chelsea back when he was a teenager. He went on trials and of course did really well and was so sure that he was going to be called. He had even got himself a Chelsea shirt, but the scouts had other ideas. They recognized that he was indeed a talent, but they said he was not a hard worker and would be a drawback for them defensively, so they decided not to go for him. Now that same Chelsea have to rely on Kai Havertz up front to get them the goals. Who writes these scripts, man? Well, these days, Chelsea also rely on João Felix, and guess what? He too was rejected as a kid. The Portuguese forward started out at Porto, but they starved him of game time so much that he considered quitting football altogether. It was his dad who encouraged him to keep on going. Eventually, Porto released him after six years because of his slender frame. They thought he didn't have what it takes to make it at top football. Well, it didn't take them long to be proven totally wrong. He moved to Porto's rivals Benfica in 2015, got promoted to their first team in 2016, and then helped them win the league in 2019 as a teenager. That same year, he was named Golden Boy. Anyway, since we're still on Chelsea's neck, let's also bring up Declan Rice. This one is so funny because Chelsea had him for seven years, but they decided to release him because, according to them, he wasn't physical enough. Now look at them trying all they can to buy him back, and they even look like they're willing to spend 100 million euros or thereabouts to make that dream come true. On the other side of London, it's Arsenal taking the L for rejecting the best English striker of his generation, Harry Kane. Harry Kane was with the Gunners for a bit between 2001 and 2002, but they rejected him because he was a little too chubby. Dude, he was just eight years old. What did you expect? You wanted him to be ripped at that age? Now we're sure they often think about what could have been, but they've just been patient with the little striker. Andy Robertson is another guy who was rejected when he was young. This one must have really hurt because he was released by his own boyhood club, Celtic. Their reason? Just too small. Well, 
the attackers who go up against Robertson these days surely don't think he's too small at all. Finally, we end with a guy who's surely a superstar, but the guys who rejected him are definitely not kicking themselves at all. Mario Balotelli went on trial at Barcelona back in 2006, and reports say that the Blaugranas were actually willing to sign him, but his agents had too many demands, so they turned him down and he joined Inter Milan instead. Surely if Barcelona had signed him back then, he would have been there for two seasons tops, because if Pep could let Ronaldinho and Deco go because he didn't want them negatively affecting Messi, who the hell is the teenage Balotelli then? Now, as far as rejecting talents and watching them go elsewhere to become superstars goes, who would you say has taken the highest number of L's in European football? Also, if there are more superstars you know that were rejected earlier in their careers, let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.